Hiya friends, prepared suburbanite back at you. You know they say uh, it's supposed to be true anyway that three times a charm and um, I'm here to give some testimony to that is a truism. As uh, some of you know that have been following the channel for a while, we lost um, uh, the best pet we ever had. She was a uh, golden mix that we got from a local rescue, uh, Noose River Golden Retriever Rescue. And we, we got her about, uh, um, well, when she was about seven. And um, she was with us until she was 16. So we got quite a few good years out of uh, our wonderful little Kelly dog. And um, she had a stroke right at the end. She was really having a hard time getting around. And then just one day it was pretty much all over. She couldn't see. She couldn't navigate. She couldn't walk. It was terrible. We took her to the vet and finally had to make that really tough decision. And after that, we took a break from having a pet, and uh, we, we uh, uh, I, I saw an ad in a local um, uh, um, Facebook-type thing called Next Door, and uh, a young girl was trying to rehome a Labrador retriever, and we checked into it, drove over there, met the dog, met the family. The dog seemed to be okay, seemed to be pretty mild-mannered, um, pretty attentive, very smart. Um, <laughs> and so we decided to take a chance, and we went through the process, got the adoption set, and uh, took over her care. Well, <laughs> or his care. That dog was uh, a total mind-blown wreck. Uh, way too much energy for um, for him. I think he was uh, about almost a year old, uh, something like that. So he was pretty close to being full grown. Um, strong as an ox, huge. Loved to jump up on people. Loved to have uh, um, his belly rubbed, but was very, very muscular, very, very knock you down, bump into you, all that kind of stuff. And uh, so it was just like a little bit too much for us. So we worked with a different um, group in, in this area to get that lab uh, rehomed. And we just heard from uh, the new owner uh, that he's doing very good. Uh, she's very active out doing uh, hiking and biking and all that. Got the dog with her all the time. So the dog found a good place to be. The second dog we got uh, was uh, through the Noose River group. And her name was Ivy. And she was, I think, sort of a golden something mix. Maybe a hound or a pit bull maybe, um, but she was a scaredy dog all the time. Um, didn't matter, any any time you closed a door, she'd, oh, whoa, and she got snarly, uh, very protective of her space and very protective of her things, and snarled and snapped and all that. Um, couldn't have her around with a group of people like we like to do, get together around here on uh, uh, certain holidays and have a cookout here in the backyard. Um, she couldn't tolerate that. Had to be locked up in her cage to uh, even be functional. Uh, if you let her out, she'd just snarl at people. Well, um, one day about three weeks ago, she got loose on us and led us on a merry chase around the neighborhood and a uh, neighbor fella, um, big and strong guy, helped us uh, track her down. And uh, she was just going crazy. But once we got uh, her pinned down, she just retaliated with all kinds of violence. She, she bit the neighbor in the face. I tried to reach in there and um, 
grab her collar and she bit me in the thumb, about tore my thumbnail right off. Uh, my wife tried to uh, get in there and snapped at her and we, we got in contact with the Noose River people again and said, um, something's not right. We can't continue with this dog the way she is. And uh, we dropped the dog off at a local vet's and they had to put her in uh, a 10 day quarantine hold for um, potential possible for rabies because of the bites that she did on my neighbor and me. And uh, that 10 days went by and because she was a bite risk, they had to put her down. So I'm hoping that uh, after the first uh, dog, the lab, the second dog, the uh, um, yellow um, golden mix, um, that our third attempt is going to be the one that's really going to make a difference. I've got some shots. She'll be with us in a second. Her name is Billy. So Billy has led quite an interesting life. She uh, uh, was born into a family and the um, uh, the male in the family, elderly guy, probably my age, <laughs> um, passed away and um, neighbors were kind of taking care of the dogs. Uh, there was two, I think, that were left behind after the, uh, the person died and the neighbors were, you know, taking care of them, trying to feed them and all that kind of stuff. The uh, uh, the widow apparently couldn't take care of them at all, really. So, um, the uh, one of the dogs got adopted out, and the family got in touch with Noose River Golden Retriever Rescue and said, we're going to have to give this dog up, sent her in, and they, they did the initial medical exam, uh, all that, found out she had ringworm, uh, heartworm and all that for just being um, unsupervised and basically uncared for for a few months before they uh, turned her over and it really didn't turn out all that good. Um, there were some uh, potential injuries that were there, her right rear leg, she limps on that a little bit and it hasn't really been fully um, diagnosed or x-rayed or anything. Uh, to me, it looks like she may have uh, uh, either dislocated her hip or broken her leg and it healed up a little bit improperly because she's kind of dragging that back foot. It doesn't seem to slow her down. She can navigate stairs and uh, she runs okay. So uh, just a little bit of a limp when she's, uh, when she's walking. And the other thing is uh, somehow an injury on her tongue kind of cut the side of it and it's uh, um, must have been pretty painful. Doesn't seem to have slowed her down. She can drink water and uh, chew food and do all that kind of stuff. So a um, couple of little things there. Um, she's going to the vet uh, tomorrow to get clearance on the uh, final testing for the heartworm. And she had a mild case of it so it really wasn't too awful bad. <clears throat> Um, but they got to do that first before they can actually clear the dog for adoption. We've already started the uh, paperwork process to, to adopt Billy. Uh, the, the local rescue, uh, Noose River Golden Retriever Rescue, has, has a, a tendency to name their uh, incoming dogs with very creative names. So her name, when she came in, uh, was Billy Holly Dog, and there were other <laughs> other names that they uh, try to mimic, um, like Ziggy Azalea was one of the dogs. So they didn't use Ziggy; they used Jiggy, I think, um, just to differentiate. But it makes it somewhat easy to remember uh, the dogs' names and stuff like that. So she came in as Billy Holly Dog. Uh, her current foster, who's part of the uh, Noose River family, uh, has been calling her Sassy. Well, um, 
Sassy's an okay name, except one of our uh, close family friends, her nickname is Sassy. So we didn't want to get confused and call Sassy for dinner and, <laughs> and have Elaine show up for a bowl of dog food. Anyway, that's um, just kind of it. We're going to call her Billy. And there's a, a couple of reasons for that, which may get into later. But Billy's going to be uh, the name that she's going to be going by um, once we can adopt and we should have it all finalized this weekend um, so we'll be like the official um, good guys and rescue people that have saved another dog from a lifetime of misery um, if you've ever done any kind of uh, pet rescue work I congratulate you it's a very um, difficult road to walk there's good things and there's bad things, but the good things outweigh the bad things. And to know that you're helping deserving animals find the right home for themselves is a very, very rewarding experience. So I would urge you to support your local rescue group. And there's generally rescue groups for different kinds of breeds. There's a, a pit bull rescue group, a German shepherd rescue group, golden retrievers, Labrador retrievers, hounds, this and that, you name it. There's a rescue group that's kind of dedicated to that breed, knows the breed very well. Uh, it, most of them do a terrific, terrific job. And we've been delighted, even though we've had a couple of disappointments, We've been delighted with the outcomes and the love and the care that these rescue dogs bring to us. So I urge you to deal with that. Um, if you can, support your local rescue group. This is the Prepared Suburbanite reminding you to be prepared always, and I'll see you all on the next video.